Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crafty Fox on Crafty Fox Blues. So, today we are making some BNSF GE Evolution Series ES44 AC diesel locomotives. So, here are the brand new redesigns. What it looks like, as you can see, oh, it's a lot more detailed. And one thing that uh, was an interesting fact about these ES44 ACs that I did not notice before, they actually do have like a ladder in the middle right here. I never noticed that, so apparently that's a feature. I haven't seen that on other ES44 ACs, so I don't know. It might be just BNSF, or maybe I just never seen it. But anyways, BNSF Railway, they actually celebrated recently their 25th anniversary. So they came out with the, this new livery. As you can see, it's like I repainted just like one of these into this one. Uh, so they have like a BNSF 25th anniversary on the side and also on the front. But I couldn't really fit anything there, so no. Uh, but they have like all the different uh, logos of predecessor railroads. Burlington Northern, Santa Fe, Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Spokane, or Spokane, I don't know. Portland and Seattle, Colorado and Southern, and Frisco. And this is what it looks like on the other side. So they have a bunch of logos here. That's what it's supposed to represent. And you know, that is quite interesting to add. And they just celebrated like I believe two months ago in September. Um, but yeah, let's get started on the build. So first thing we'll do, let's grab our materials. We're going to take out a black concrete, nether brick stairs, a dark oak slab, dark oak fence gate, trip wire hook, uh, let's say oak slab, uh, let's say smooth stone slab, stone brick stairs, uh, what else? I guess we'll take out an end rod for now. Yeah, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and build on the side the quadrant here so I'll add in um nether brick stairs in the middle add another brick stairs cornered on the side of that upside down uh facing outwards on the side of that and then on top in the middle we'll add in black concrete here and then um we'll go diagonally back add another black concrete like that you know what, we're gonna make like this into an l shape upside down nether brick stairs here in the middle, we'll need to add in this um, acacia stairs. I mean, acacia fence gate. Open that up. Add in trip wire hook on top in the front of that black concrete. And then in the middle, we'll add in a dark oak slab, dark oak fence gate underneath, and another one next to it, and open that up the other direction. Then on top, we'll add in um, diagonally two oak uh, slabs like that. Then underneath, and here in the middle, we'll add in an upside down nether brick stairs with a dark oak fence gate. Then we'll add in smooth stone slabs, just two steps like that, spaced apart. And then we'll go on top, we'll add in a stone slab here. Front, uh, two blocks tall, an oak fence with an oak trap door in the middle. Then the side, we'll add in end rods like that, one block there, diagonally down another one here. And then we'll add in um, the wheel. So to do that, we'll add in the gray, I'll need to grab it, gray concrete or gray terracotta, I mean. Um, upside down, uh, dark oak stairs, and then what else do we got? Stone brick uh, stairs and slab. So first we're going to make the wheel. Just going to be gray terracotta and upside down, dark oak uh, stairs like that. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate, and we're going to repeat the same thing. Like that. And then we'll repeat the same thing, except we won't add in the fence gate in the back for now. Then we'll add in a um, stone brick slab right to the side of these uh, fence gates. And then um, on top we'll add in a spruce. I'll need to grab it, a spruce trap door right there on top of the slabs. Then we'll add in um, two stone brick stairs, so one's right side up, other one's upside down, so it makes this shape. We're gonna build it around the wheels. Then we'll take stone brick slabs and add in two here, in the middle, another two, and another two in the front. And we're actually gonna delete this one in the front. That's gonna be uh, another brick uh, stairs. It's a little blacker. And then in the back here, um, or rather on the inside part, we'll add in uh, this nether brick wall. And that's going to be 
uh, adjacent to where the trap doors are right there so just add that on top and then we'll add in a uh, gray concrete fill in the rest all the way to the back section here same thing all the way across the middle section like that and the inner part of this we'll add in uh, need a, another brick block side of the stairs for all of them and then the stairs in the front of that and then another brick slab um, in the spaces where the fence gates are. All right, it looks like this. Then we'll add in uh, two upside down nether brick stairs facing towards the front or the edge, like that. So one of the newer things I'm trying out because they do have like sort of like a slope here. And then we'll add in uh, the bottom, uh, this hopper right behind this wheel. And then uh, the spruce uh, fence gate facing towards the stone brick, and then a spruce trapdoor on top of it. So that is our basic design. Very nice, very cool. Now we're going to add in the fuel tank. So, the fuel tank, this is going to be a gray concrete, and we're going to make it 12 blocks long. So, actually, let me make it first. So, I'm going to add in like a 2x2 two two gray concrete, and then a stone brick uh, stairs at the at the bottom upside down like that and now we're going to make this part so it's 12 blocks long all right so after we extended that out we're going to add another two stone brick slabs here and then on the back of this uh, two upside down uh, another brick stairs like that now we can go back to the front we'll need to add in another end rod right here to the side just up like so all right, so it looks like this so far. Very nice. And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to copy what we did in the front here from the pilot all the way to this nether brick stairs and build it to right where this nether brick stairs is, just on this side. All right, so once we have the back section, it looks like this. And now we're going to actually delete the plow here, replace that, as well as the fence gate here with black concrete, so it's nice and flat. All right, and then we're going to go uh, right back to the front area. And we can add in a sandstone um, wall. Place that bottom oak fence. Sandstone wall and then item frame with a smooth quartz block inside of it for uh, the ditch lights. Then on the inside part of this, we're going to add another end rod right on top of that step like so. And then the middle area, we're going to add in um, orange concrete, black concrete on top, and then orange concrete. And behind it, we'll add in a 2x2 two two of black concrete. And then the sides here, we'll add in um, acacia stairs, so they're going to face the corner. In the corner, we'll add in acacia slab like that. And then the bottom of this, we're going to add in orange concrete right at the edge and we're going to make sure that it's going to be five blocks long so one two three four five then we'll add in another three right here and then we'll add in um acacia uh, trap door right here in the back open that up and then two dark oak buttons right here on the sides and they're going to be facing i mean closer to the front then uh right at this edge here we'll add in uh, yellow concrete and then a black concrete like so and then the middle area that's going to be a birch button with an item frame around it like so and we'll take out black carpet uh, orange glass pane black glass pane black glass acacia fence gate all right so first we're going to add black carpet right at the tip uh, orange glass pane Right behind it and then two black glass panes and then on the side here black uh, glass block add in two blocks like that and then an orange concrete in the middle then we're going to make a three by th or three by two of orange concrete like that for the top then the side here we'll add in an acacia fence gate here and that's going to open up towards the outside part then we'll add in a row of three uh, acacia stairs like that and the inside part, we're going to add in two black concretes 
like so. Very nice. Then we'll add in an iron bar right there on the side for the side view mirror. All right, then we'll add in a dark oak button right here to the side, in front of that orange. And what else can we do? We'll also add in a dark oak sign right here for the number plate. And an iron trap door right in the middle on the top of the roof. Right there. All right, it's looking good so far. Now I guess we'll work on the detail uh, right in the back section. So uh, for that, we'll add in um, another brick slab. If we can grab that, we'll add that one here. And then skip a block, add in two. And then skip a block, add in two. Skip a block, add in two. And, and then we'll add in oak slab. And then we'll add it in the space in between. Right. And then we're going to add another two nether brick slabs. Oak slab, and then another two nether brick slab, and then oak slab. And that's it for now. Alright, now we're going to go uh, right to this uh, back section. I'm going to add end rod. Uh, another two blocks here. That, and then a stone slab here. With an end rod right on top. Then the middle we're going to add yellow concrete. An orange concrete. Acacia stairs upside down. And then we'll add an item frame with a white bed inside of it. And you don't even have to turn it. This is like the perfect configuration. All right, so after we do that, um, on top there's going to be another brick uh, slab. It's going to be an upper slab, so I'm going to have to temporarily add a block. So there, it's like an upper slab, and then we'll add in uh, two black concretes like this. And then we'll add in four blocks long of bedrock on the side here. One, two, three, four, like that. Black concrete in the inside part, and then wrap that around towards the front. Then we'll add in a dark oak. Uh, trapdoor across the middle section, so it's gonna be like this. Then on the side of that, we'll add in uh, another brick slabs all the way across, like that. And this back section, we'll add in inside part two diagonally yellow concretes, like so. And the inside part, of this is gonna be another brick slab here, and then a uh, dark oak. Uh, trap doors, two blocks like that. And acacia stairs here. And then we'll need two nether brick stairs and then acacia stairs. And then two nether brick slabs. And acacia slab. And then dark oak uh, slab like that. Then we'll add in three nether brick stairs right here on the side. A row of three black concretes. And then we'll need to add in two black wool blocks in the middle and black concrete in the front of that. Then we'll add in a 2x2 two two black concrete with an iron trap door right there in the middle. Very nice. Okay, so let's go back down here and we'll add in orange uh, right behind this acacia uh, slab and we're going to make that go all the way to the back. Like so. All right, then I guess um, we'll add in uh, two nether brick stairs facing towards the front here. And then we'll take out um, nether brick uh, slab, make a two by two, a dark oak fence gate here in the middle, and then add in nether brick uh, slabs, wrap that around the fence gate. And then we'll add in two nether brick stairs facing towards the back. Like so. Very, very nice. And then we'll add in black concrete in the middle, and this could go all the way to the back of the cab. Like so. Then we'll add in three black concretes right here on the side. All right, now we're gonna go um, on this inner wall here, add in uh, yellow concrete, and this is gonna go all the way back to the orange. And this is for the yellow stripe that goes across. And next we'll add in another brick slab right here. Actually, does it go in the inside of this? Uh, yes, it does. So this is going to go all the way across the side. So we're going to go all the way to the back of the cab here. Another brick slabs. Across like that. 
Then we'll add in uh, these two um, black concretes, I mean bedrock blocks with a black carpet on top, like so. And then we'll add in a black concrete right after it. And I guess we'll just leave that alone for now. All right, so and then we're gonna go right here to the back and add in a two block stall, another brick uh, fence like that. Skip a block, add another one here, and a dark oak fence gate right there in the middle. Then we'll go uh, right on this inner wall here, add in uh, yellow concrete, and this is going to go all the way right back to the front as much as we can, all the way like that. Very, very nice so far. And uh, now we're also going to delete uh, this trap door here, replace it with a spruce. Um, let me grab it real quick, spruce fence gate in the inside of that, just for the back chain. Then I'm going to make the door banner, so go to our loom, uh, place a black banner inside of it with an orange die, and we're going to make a border around it. Put that back in, and we're going to make it go across the bottom half of it. And that's how you add in the banner, and we're going to place that in the back of the cab, like so. Very nice. All right, so it's looking good so far. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to copy what we did on this side and build it onto the other side. All right, so once you have both sides, it looks like this so far. Now we're going to go onto uh, this side, add a nether brick slab here, and then we'll add in yellow uh, concrete, bedrock, delete the block above. And we'll add an orange inside of it with another brick slab on top of it. Another brick slab right behind it. Yellow concrete. Two nether brick slabs. Yellow concrete. Another brick slab. And then we'll have an oak stairs. Which I do need to grab again. An oak stairs and then another brick slab. And then um, yellow concrete. And we'll have a gray carpet right on top of that. All right, then on top of this uh, oak stairs, we'll add in two blocks tall, yellow concrete. I'm gonna make that go all the way to the cab, like that. Then up here, we'll add in a dark oak sign. Then we'll add a bedrock block in here with black concrete next to it, and black carpet, cover that up. The other side. We'll add in another brick slab and then upside down another brick stairs and then cover that up with black carpet on top. And the inside part of this we'll add in two bedrocks and cover that with carpet as well. So we got that nice vent. We'll take out a birch button, add that <clears throat> in the front of this bedrock, and another one back over here. Like so. And now we'll go on to uh, this side. We'll add in yellow concrete, two blocks. And then another brick slab, which I do need to grab again. And then yellow concrete. And two nether brick slabs. Yellow concrete, two nether brick slabs. And then yellow concrete, and then two nether brick slabs. Then we'll take out an acacia slab, add one on top of this yellow. And then we'll add another one on top of this nether brick right behind the cab, and this is going to go all the way across. And then inside part of this, we're going to delete these two yellows and replace them with an oak plank just for the vents. I do want to keep this block stripe. Then over here, we'll add in a ladder, just a pair of ladders like that. And then we'll take out uh, birch buttons and add in two diagonally like that. Then we'll go uh, back over here, and we're going to add in um, two by two of orange concrete here. And then this is going to go all the way to the cab. Then we'll add in two birch buttons, like so. Then we'll go down here, add in three stone brick slabs, and then three upside down stone brick stairs, skip block another three and dark oak fence gate in the middle. 
Then we'll go back over here, add, skip a block, two blocks tall, another brick fence, skip a block, another one. And then skip a block, I mean, just right, had it right next to it, dark oak fence, and another brick fence on top, another, another brick fence behind it. And it'll connect the top part together using dark oak fence gates. Uh, then we'll go down here, add in dark oak fence gate, block down, and then two blocks tall, uh, another brick fence like that. Then we'll go right here to the back part, add a dark oak fence, another brick fence like that. And we will leave this alone for now. Then we'll go right here to this back section, delete this last one, add in oak stairs. And then acacia trap door, open that up. And upside down, acacia stairs. Then orange concrete, bedrock underneath. Delete this yellow here, add in acacia stairs. And delete the next two blocks, add in yellow, or I mean orange concrete. And then acacia stairs like that. Then we'll add in uh, acacia trap door here, open that up bedrock and then another case trap door open that up add in orange concrete right here in the middle and then upside down case of stairs right on top so we got these nice vents then we'll add in a, an l shape of bedrock like that and then we'll take out dark oak trap door and then add in two here and close them both up and we'll add also add in a birch button right inside like that all right, so then we'll add in an L shape of orange concrete like that. And we'll move up to the other side. Let's see what we can do there. Then we'll add two orange concretes here. And then on the bottom here, we'll place that bedrock. Then acacia stairs, orange concrete on top. And next we'll delete this block here. And skip a block, delete this block, and then add in um, an oak stairs inside like that. Then on top, we'll add in bedrock in the middle, an orange on top of that. Uh, and then an acacia uh, trap door right above the stairs and open them both up. And acacia stairs upside down right above it. Then in the back part, I mean in the front, we'll add in upside down L-shaped bedrock. And then we'll wrap uh, orange concrete around it like that. And then we'll add an acacia button here, birch button, and acacia trap door in front of the stairs, close that up. Then go over here, add in a uh, birch button underneath this bedrock, and acacia button right above, diagonally up. Then we'll add in a dark oak trap door at two blocks tall, close them up on the side of this. And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to fill in the inside with uh, bedrock. So all these vents here, uh, we're going to fill that in with uh, bedrock. So they all covered up inside and make sure the other side's filled up as well. And this side has another vent here, so I'm going to cover that up. So it looks like this so far, very nice. Now uh, we're going to add in the BNSF logo. So for this one, Take out black concrete, another brick stairs, and uh, let's go over here. Let's make this one first. Let's add in black concrete, and then orange concrete. Then we'll make an N using another brick stairs. Then orange concrete, black concrete, orange concrete, upside down another brick stairs. Then we'll add in acacia buttons to the sides of the black concrete. And the other side, we'll just do it kind of backwards. So uh, let's go right around here to the last one here. Add in upside down, another brick stairs. Uh, then orange. Then black concrete. Then orange. And then we'll make the end shape using another brick stairs. Then orange, and then black concrete, and I guess orange here. Very nice. And I, <laughs> we're gonna add in a kitchen bun right here to the side. 
that black concrete and go on the other side and then add it okay we already did add it but we won't add it here because this is where the ladder is so next we'll add in um orange concrete and fill in the inside part of this area all the way across and connect that top part together in the bottom area we're going to add in two orange concretes like that and then we'll add in orange concrete inside the middle the inner wall all the way across like that now we'll need to add in the little swoosh on the bottom so next we'll add in four nether brick slabs lay down nether brick stairs and then another brick slab and then two dark oak uh trap doors like that and we'll also fill in the inside of this end with orange go on the other side and we'll do the same thing so add in four um nether brick uh slabs like that upside down nether brick stairs nether brick slab and then two dark oak trap doors and then we'll fill in the inside wall with orange and this end as well it should all be orange Right, so we got our nice BNSF logo, really cool. Now, as I said before, on this side, this has a ladder, so we're gonna add that. We're gonna be lining up with the black concrete. So add in two acacia fence gates, open them up, and then dark oak fence gate. And we will open that up as well. Okay, so next we'll go right on top of this box and fill in the top part with gray carpet like this. Filling in the last one and then We'll add in two acacia fence gates here, open that up. And then we'll go right here to the bottom, add in two blocks tall, uh, another brick um, fence like that. And then we'll go uh, two blocks above, add in another brick fence, two blocks long like that. Dark oak fence gate in the front, another brick fence, dark oak fence gate, another brick fence, and dark oak fence gate. Then go down here, skip a block, add two blocks tall, another brick fence, skip to a block, another pair, and fill in the inside of that dark oak fence gates. Then we'll add dark oak fence gate on top here, and another brick fence right behind it. Then we'll go um, right around to the back part, and skip a block, add in two blocks tall, another brick fence. And then skip block, add two blocks tall, another brick fence. So we got that down, and then we'll add a dark oak uh, fence right at the bottom, another brick fence on top. Then skip a block and kind of repeat this whole thing, so we'll make an upside down backwards L shape of another brick fence, and then dark oak fence in the corner so that these two bottom ones are not connecting. And then we'll skip block, add another, another brick fence, two blocks tall. All right. Then we'll go on to the other side. And then we'll skip a block and kind of do what we did on the other side. So skip block here. Make that L shape of nether brick fence. Dark oak fence right there. And then skip a block, nether brick fence. Two blocks tall like that. And skip a block and keep on doing that till we reach the edge. Like so. Alright, so once we have that, we're to connect all the railings together using the dark oak fence gates. All right, after we've done that, it looks like this. And now uh, in the back here, we'll add in a pair of dark oak buttons on either side, like so. And then we'll add in a dark oak sign right here in the middle. It's like a little bump right there. And then we'll add in um, back over here, this uh, birch button right there. And then another birch button lines up with the fence here. And then we'll also add in a spruce button right here next to that nether brick slab. And then we'll go um, add a birch button right here in the corner. Then we'll go right here in the front, add a kish button here in the middle. Add black concrete on the left and black concrete on the right but inside. Then we'll add a kish of stairs facing outwards on that. And a kish of fence gate on the other side and open that up. Like so. 
Then on this side, this is the quadrant where it has sort of like a unique feature just in this corner. So that's going to be nether brick um, slab, uh, stone brick stairs. That appears to be about it. So go over here and replace the slab with stone brick stairs. Face it towards the front and delete these trap doors and we'll replace them with nether brick slabs, an upper slab like that. Then we'll add in uh, stone brick stairs right where the stone brick slabs were. And go right here, stone brick stairs two blocks long like that. And then for the rest of this, we'll add in stone brick slabs all the way across the side. So it matches up like so. And then we'll go um, to the other side and we'll add in a skeleton skull in this nook. Grab it and just place it on the inside like that. Alright, so next we'll line up with this birch button, add a kitchen button down here. And then we'll go to the back part and we'll add in birch button underneath the bedrock, in case you're in the front of that. And you'll want to go in the front of the cap, go on the left hand side, add in acacia button right there. I believe that's pretty much it on how to build uh, the BNSF ES44AC. Now we can convert it if you want to make the 25th anniversary uh, color scheme which has logos like that on the side. Alright so to do that I guess we'll need to go right to where front of this bedrock is and just delete these two blocks here and then we'll go uh, right up to uh, the start of this where that slab is with the bedrock so go right here slab the bedrock and delete these two and delete everything inside of it so and I guess we'll fill in the inside part in a wall of orange we got this nice gap and we'll go do the same thing on the other side just delete this area and you can leave the ladder alone I think that stays for everything else that has to go make sure you line it up with this uh, bedrock block like that very nice so far all right so after we've cleared that out we'll go to this front area there's boxes and we'll delete four blocks here fill that in with upside down another brick stairs then we'll add in three dark oak buttons right here on the side and then gray carpet on top like so go on to the other side uh, delete uh, four blocks here. That add in upside down nether brick stairs. And then we'll fill in the inside wall with uh, orange. Alright, and then we'll also delete this uh, birch button. We don't need that anymore. Alright, so we got our BNSF anniversary, and now we need to add in the logo. So for that, uh, delete this block underneath the bedrock actually we don't need that anymore so go underneath this bedrock add in black concrete and then an upper nether brick slab acacia slab on top and then we'll add in smooth quartz with orange concrete at the bottom all right that's the start of it and then we'll add in a birch button side of this uh, black concrete and acacia button in front of that smooth quartz and we'll go on the other side and delete that block underneath this bedrock. Like so. And uh, this time we'll add in uh, red terracotta. Birch bun right here to the side of it. Then nether brick slab. And upper one and lower one so that they're combined. And then two acacia planks. Orange concrete underneath it. And then birch buns to the side of that uh, acacia. Then we'll go on to the other end here. And uh, we'll add in uh, black concrete. And then we'll delete this carpet here and then we'll add in a birch bun. Then upper nether brick slab with acacia slab on top. Smooth quartz and then orange underneath it. Acacia bun right in front of that smooth quartz. Got that down and we'll go back to the other side and try to make that area. So uh, we'll add in red terracotta here. 
birch button to the side of it. Then an upper and a lower nether brick slab. And then two acacia planks with uh, birch buttons in front of it, orange underneath it. And now we need to add in the centerpiece, which has a lot of greens. And this is Burlington Northern here. So we'll add in green concrete, dark prismarine stairs. Uh, what is this? Smooth quartz stairs. And this prismarine stairs. So go back over here. And we'll add in two green uh, concretes. And then two dark prismarine stairs. Uh, birch buns on the side of this. And then we'll add in um, prism rain stairs in a diagonal and smooth quartz stairs in the corners so that it's like a circle. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So add in two green concretes, um, dark prism rain stairs, and then we'll need to add in um, smooth quartz stairs in the corners and prism rain stairs. Uh, for the rest of it like that so finally we've done it and then we'll add in two birch buttons on side of that green so that is very nice this part over here we'll also fill that in orange concrete that should not have a hole there and then we'll fill in the other side orange concrete uh, but yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to build a bnsf uh, es44 ac in the 25th anniversary edition as well as the regular one and uh, yeah hope you guys do enjoy this video i am working on a couple more uh gvos as you can see in the back of me uh, but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you do remember hit that like button down below subscribe if you want to see more videos and i will see you guys in the next one